Hi, this week we're back in our tentacle, and this time we're going to be making two types of rigs. Starting off, I'm going to spawn an armature. Make sure that its location is at 000. Then under armature, look up the in front and turn that on. Then swap over into edit mode and move the head to the end of our tentacle. And we can then add six subdivisions to it. Now we can extrude out another bone and turn off its deformation and clear its parents. We can then rename it to the IK controller. Next we can hop over into pose mode, selecting our top bone and then under bone constraints we can add an IK constraint, setting it to our armature and setting the bone to our tentacle IK and then setting our chain length to 7. After that in edit mode we can extrude out another bone and the same as last time, clear its parents and turn off its deformation. Now we can add a Bezier circle, keeping its location at 000. Then in our bones pose mode, we can search for custom object and set that to our circle. Now we can change the size, now we can change the scale rotation and translation in here to suit your needs. Now the last thing we're going to do for this rig is select the bottom bone and add a bone constraint, copying the rotation and setting that and setting that to the last bone we just made. If you had named your bones this would be a lot easier, which I should have done. Now we can pair it with automatic weights and we are done with this one. Now for another method, start with a bezier curve and in edit mode, move the handles to the top and bottom of the mesh. Straighten them out and subdivide it. Next we can add an armature and duplicate the bone once for each subdivision in the curve and move them to the control points. Then in the curves edit mode, select the control point and then use control H to add a hook modifier, setting it to new object. And we can do this for each control point. Now in object mode, select the empties that we just made and add an object constraint of the, of the type copy transformations and set them to the bones next to it. Again, this would be a lot easier if I'd named these bones, but I did not. So I would recommend that you do. But we're almost done now. Now we can select the tentacle and add a modifier of the type deform and curve, then set the curve to the curve we just made. And once we've set our axes, it's done. If you want, you can go into pose mode and set each bone to have a custom shape of the circle that we made for the last rig or whatever one you want. But thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week hopefully. Bye bye.